Hey folks, welcome back to This Sucks. I have an update for you. All right, guys, this update is about what I found out in the last couple days. I had a super, super busy day yesterday with uh, multiple doctor's appointments and kind of traveling around. Um, but before I get started with that, I do want to remind you guys that we do have a GoFundMe to help support our family during this time that will help uh, go to continue to pay for bills and other things, especially if it gets to a point where I can no longer work. Um, so all of that information is in the description below. So like I said, I had one, two, three, three like three different doctor's appointments yesterday. Um, all of which kind of all had to do with each other. Uh, one was just a phone appointment and it was with the pharmacist to talk about the new oral chemo treatment that I'm going to be on. It is considered like a chemo treatment and once I am on it, I will officially be considered immunocompromised. So that has not been a thing yet. And so that's something that I'm kind of like wrapping my head around. Um, this will, it's, it's like a lot of pills every day that I'm gonna have to be taking, but it's the targeted therapy that is specifically supposed to be targeting that BRAF positive mutation that's part of my cancer. And um, so far everything um, seems pretty optimistic or my doctors seem pretty optimistic about going on to uh, this option and seeing what's gonna happen with it. But, Fast forward a little bit to uh, later in the day yesterday to my meeting with the radiation oncologist. Now, um, some radiation oncology is done to actually like help treat cancer and get rid of it in certain spots. It's also targeted because they're putting like x-rays and things at that spot to kill the cancer cells. Now this is what is going to happen, but this is a little different since the bone metastasis that I have is widespread, um, they can't, really do my whole body, that's, that's what the meta, the oral medication is gonna be for to target everything. But the radiation oncology or the radiation treatment, particularly for me, is going to be for bone pain. And it's going to help with um, the pain management and with the hopes that it will actually help me get off some of the pain meds that I've been on, which would be amazing. And, um, and it's not gonna be nearly as crazy as I thought. Uh, at one point I was thinking it was gonna be a whole lot of different treatments and I'd have to be driving back and forth a whole lot. Um, it's gonna be five uh, treatments, five, uh, five instances where I will go in starting next Wednesday. And so they, they really went fast uh, to get me in here. So I met with the radiation oncologist yesterday. We talked through everything. We looked at my scans together. Um, and then I got six free tattoos, no joke, real tattoos, but really they're little spots that were put on a, got me on a, um, like a CAT scan machine in order to kind of get me lined up and figure out, um, how they're going to need me to be positioned correctly when I actually go in for the treatment. And in order to do that, they legitimately do like tiny little dots. Um, that is like a legitimate tattoo, it's not gonna go away, um, where they'll be able to line up like laser levels or something <laughs> once I go in. So every single day I'm in the same position and they know they're getting all the right spots. Um, the three areas that have been bothering me the most and that show up the brightest uh, on my, my PET scans is my pelvic area, specifically in the sacrum, which is that lower, the lower spine pelvis area um, where I've been getting a whole lot of pain there. Um, my mid back, the T10 vertebrae and a right along in there is showing um, quite a bit of activity on the scan and that's where I'm feeling most of the pain there. And then in my right shoulder, which is also popping on the scan and um, every once in a while, like right now my shoulder feels fine, but yeah, every once in a while it just really starts to hurt. So that's the plan. Uh, starting next Wednesday, I will go in for five different days after that for this targeted radiation therapy with the hopes that it's going to knock out those cancer cells that are in those specific places to give me what sounds like pretty immediate pain relief. Um, 
one of the most amazing things that I have ever heard is when a doctor tells you this is going to help you feel better. That definitively. No beating around the bush, nothing else. It's this is going to help. And you don't get a lot of that uh, when it comes to cancer and other chronic disease because there's not a whole lot of assurities. But to be able to be told that this is gonna help me not hurt so much. I just about burst into tears when he said it. I held back. I'm starting to tear up now though. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, we don't know like to what extent it will help, um, but he is very confident that there will be some, some positive outcomes that are uh, very obvious. Uh, his hope is that I will be able to get off some of these pain meds that I have been on. And then uh, once the radiation treatment is done, I will be able to go officially on to this new oral medication uh, in the hopes of helping everywhere else. So that is the plan. That is what we're moving forward with. And, um, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Still all scary as always. Um, but I wanted to give you guys that heads up so you knew kind of what was going on and um, especially as we move into the weekend. I have a couple of other videos that I'm going to be dropping to as well. Um, so please make sure if you have any questions, you know, drop them in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. So take care, make good choices, be kind.